In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of using keyframes to change some of the visual effects of your video. For this tutorial, we'll look at how you can zoom and pan using keyframes in Premiere Pro. Here I have a simple video loaded up in the timeline. It is basically just a still landscape, but we can add a bit of a zoom and a bit of a pan to have this landscape seem a little bit more interesting in post production. To do that, we will use something called the effects controls. If you click on Window, Workspaces, and then select Editing, and then if your workspace does not look like this, go to Window, Workspaces, Reset to Saved Layout. This will reset your workspace to the default layout. Then we can click on Effects Controls. Here it might say No Clip Selected. Just make sure you click the clip that you had down here. In order to use an effect in Premiere Pro, you need to select the clip that you want to use it on. Some effects are applied automatically. So every video clip has motion, opacity, and time remapping and audio effects already applied. You don't have to apply these. We'll cover how to apply new effects in a new video. If I select this video, and here under motion, it says position. If you don't see this, just click this little triangle. I could click with my left mouse button and drag, and I can move the video. But if I do this, you'll notice that the video is moved the entire time. So I'll press Control Z or Command Z to undo. I could also do the same thing with scale. I could click with my left mouse button and drag left or right. But if I do this, and then I drag my playhead, notice that everything is zoomed in. How can I make this change over time? That's where keyframes in Adobe Premiere Pro really help you do animations and control effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo. And this time, I'm going to click on the little stopwatch by scale. And if you notice, there's a little dot right here. It's kind of like a diamond. That is a keyframe. A keyframe is data about information at a particular point in time. So that means at the beginning of the clip, have the scale be 100. In order to set another keyframe, I need to move my playhead. This is the most important step, and sometimes it's forgotten. Because if I change this now, it's telling the clip to start at 146 at zero. Even though it seems like I've changed something, all I've done was change this keyframe. So I'll undo that. This time, I'm going to move my playhead. And if you notice, all three playheads are connected. So this playhead, this playhead, and this playhead are connected in Premiere Pro. I'm going to move to the end of the clip, and then I'll zoom in. Now, notice I can't see the last frame, so I need to press left arrow one time. Now I'm on the last frame of the clip, and then I can zoom in a bit. Now let's watch what happens. If I move my playhead back to the beginning and then press play, you can see it moving in. So what we can do is change the interpolation of these keyframes, because if you notice here, it's a very linear progression, meaning that it's at a constant rate of zoom. So if I click this keyframe right here and then right click, I can choose different ways for this to operate. So I can choose ease in, and now it's going to slowly accelerate. And then here I can have it ease out. If I click this keyframe, right click, and then ease out. So we can have a little bit more control over the keyframes. We can combine effects with keyframes. For example, if I go back to the beginning of the clip and now I click on position, I have a position keyframe set right here. Then I can drag my playhead to the end of the clip, press back one frame, and now I can use my mouse to drag the clip to the left and then down a little bit. 
Maybe back just a little bit like this. So now I can have it zoom in on a particular point of the composition. So now we'll see. that I control the framing of that clip and how it zooms in. You can also drag keyframes around in the top. So for example, if I select these keyframes here, I can move them closer. What this does is change the position and the timing of the animation. So if I press play now, it's going to zoom in and then just be a static hold this way. There are other types of keyframes as well. If I have a keyframe in the middle, so let's say I wanted to zoom in just even more. So we'll, we'll zoom in a lot more right in the middle. Then I could right click and click Auto Bezier. So what this will do is automatically smooth out the middle. So let's watch what happens here. You see how that was nice and gradual It kind of accelerated up to the top and then smoothed out. Let's look at what it looks like if I say linear. So now you see how it has just a constant speed. So sometimes in the middle of an action using Auto Bezier is a really great way to have an effect happen. The other types of keyframes are hold and continuous Bezier and Bezier. So these are also all very helpful in controlling your animations and keyframes in Premiere. If you want to reset the keyframes, just click the stopwatch. A warning will come up because this actually erases all the information that you've created, but it's okay if you want to reset everything. And so now there's no keyframes on scale. Just be very careful on that because it's very difficult to get them back if you delete them. Of course, right now I can undo that, but if I had made any other edits that were important, I wouldn't be able to get my keyframes back. Hopefully this helps you create keyframes for the basic effects in Premiere.